there's a word for somebody here. The Spirit of the Lord is saying to me, there's somebody here that is at the point of giving up. You are at that point that you are losing the meaning to life. You are allowing discouragement to set in. You are allowing doubt to set in. You are allowing fear to set in. But the Spirit of the Lord will say to you that He is your God. He is in the midst of you. And He is mighty. It is like you are waiting and waiting and waiting and that which you are waiting for doesn't seem to be coming through. The Lord says to tell you that he's working and he's working on your situation and you shouldn't lose heart and you shouldn't give up because he is your God. He is true. He is just. He says he is faithful that that which he has promised he will bring to pass. That which he has promised he will fulfill. That he is not man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. He is in the midst of you. He is opening your eyes. If you will not give up, he is taking away the veil. He is opening your eyes. There is the opening of eyes in this place. God is opening the eyes of his people to see beyond what we have seen before. The Lord is taking away the veil. He is revealing himself. He is coming to us in the spirit of wisdom. He is coming to us in the spirit knowledge. He is unveiling himself. He is unveiling his truth, who he is to us. And therefore you are going to stand and hold fast and hold fast unto the Lord and do not give up. Do not allow the enemy to rob you of that which the Lord has for you, said the Spirit of the Lord. Hold firm and stand firm. Hold firm and stand firm. For the Lord your God is in the midst of you, just as he was with the three Hebrew children in the midst of the fiery furnace, and they were not burnt. So he is with you. Hold fast, for he will come through to come through for you, said the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, family. Thank you, Brother Cola. I just want to also share that as we're worshiping, God was showing me someone uh, going to a grocery store in a vision. And no matter what the grocery store is filled with, if you don't have any money in your pockets, you're not going to walk out with anything. And God was saying is the reason that so many things take our affection and take our, you know, love and focus and attention is because we don't spend it all on Jesus. We leave church with our pockets full. And when we go to these other stores, we have money to purchase these things. And God has set it up that he wants us to begin to spend everything in his presence, in your devotion, in your time. Go broke. So that when the world wants your affection, even if you want it, you check your pockets, there's nothing there. There's nothing to make a purchase with because he has it all. Amen. And I pray that we'll be a church that hears and responds to God's word. Amen.